Okay, so I did a factory reset um, through the center console, the touchscreen computer and everything. So, got it to go, fixed. Um, another thing I forgot to cover, my first video here, is there is a, if you can see that number there, it's a security asset etching. Um, you'll see that on all on our purchase agreement. We put it on all of our purchase agreements on all of our used cars. What that number will do for you, it's anti-theft. If your vehicle's ever lost, stolen, unrecovered, after 30 days, you'll receive up to $3,000 towards the purchase of a new vehicle, up to $5,000 if you uh, purchase here from Schaefer Chevrolet. Um, if your vehicle's ever lost, stolen, unrecovered, brought back, damaged, or vandalized. Okay, um, a lot of insurance companies do offer a discount for having that on there. Uh, I know with my vehicle, I go through Progressive, I save about 12 bucks a month for that, so it'll virtually pay itself off within the first couple years of ownership. Um, so I got that remote start fixed. Um, it does have a second key fob. It's not in as good a condition as this one, but still, you'll still have a key. Um, the buttons on here are pretty worn out on the second key fob. Um, we'll take another look at the back of the seat here. I haven't had time to get that cleaned up yet. I think if I can take some some type of leather moisturizer or something, I think a lot of that will come off. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's not a burn or anything. It's, it's like a watermark. You know, I think somebody had something in there and it leaked through maybe. But I mean, it's rub. I mean, it's kind of coming off, but yeah, give me a little bit. Um, I do have another uh, customer here right now. So once I get time, I'll try and get that cleaned up for you and I'll, I'll snap you another picture um, of what I can do to that. So hopefully I can get that looking better for you. But. I think the bigger deal is I did get that remote start fixed. They are really good to have, especially during the winter, so I don't blame you there. Um, I'll keep in touch with you.